welcome to Thalir. This is a place called Bud. This is budding forth for a new life and we are capuchins working for the renewal of the society and the church. Dear brothers and sisters, I like to reflect with you today on Patris Korte with the Father's love. We all of us are well aware that we are celebrating the year of St. Joseph. Our beloved Pope Francis has written an apostolic letter about St. Joseph to mark the opening of a year of St. Joseph, which runs from 8th December 2020 to 8th December 2021. The title of the letter, as I said earlier, is Patris Corte, which means with the Father's love. This recognizes that all four Gospels refer to Jesus as the son of Joseph, even though Joseph was not his biological father. Brothers and sisters, for centuries, Joseph's name was hardly mentioned because the very fact that he thought of sending Mary away seemed wrong. Everything changed 150 years ago when Blessed Pius IX named Joseph patron of the Catholic Church. Some of you will be well aware that we will have seen Pope Francis' meditation in the time of pandemic when he was the only person in front of St. Peter's Basilica when he recognized the contribution made by ordinary people, people often overlooked, people who do not appear in newspaper and magazine headlines or on the latest television show. Yet in these very days are surely shaping the decisive events of our history. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, doctors, nurses, storekeepers and supermarket workers, cleaning personnel, caregivers, transport workers, men and women working to provide essential services and public safety, volunteers, priests, men and women religious, and so very many others. What he praised in them is not only generosity, but a willingness to work patiently, spreading not panic, but shared responsibility, and in many cases, praying and encouraging others to pray Yes, each of us can discover this St. Joseph, the man who goes unnoticed, a daily, discreet and hidden presence, an intercessor, a support and a guide in times of trouble. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, we Catholics have traditionally held Joseph in great affection. St. Teresa of Avila often prayed to him and encouraged others to do the same. Prayers are offered to him every Wednesday and the month of March is totally dedicated to him. Our beloved Pope Francis 
is convinced that in Saint Joseph Jesus saw the tender love of God it's true my dear brothers that is why Joseph doubted his own ability to do the things God asked him to do the evil one makes us see and condemn our frailty whereas the spirit brings it to light with a tender love tenderness is the best way to touch the frailty within us pointing fingers and judging others are frequently signs of an inability to accept our own weaknesses or our own frailty these days this lenten season calls us to transform us from this point of pointing fingers to the other but calls us to point fingers towards each one of us Joseph was able to accept his own weaknesses and Pope Francis is sure this molded the atmosphere in the life of holy family Joseph teaches us that faith in God includes believing what he can work even through our fears our frailties and our weaknesses he also teaches us that we must never be afraid to let the lord steer our own course at times we want to be in complete control yet god always sees the bigger picture Joseph is a fine example today for each one of us because he accepted Mary unconditionally he trusted in the angel's words his life teaches us to accept rather than to explain he was not resigned to the inevitable but a very proactive person his example can teach us to set aside all our anger and disappointment and to embrace the way things are even though when they do not turn out as we wish not with the mere resignation but with the hope and courage yes my dear brothers joseph's approach can allow miracles to happen in our lives and he encourages to accept and welcome others as they are without expectation and exception and to show special concern for the weak for god chooses what is weak we read in the first corinthians chapter 1 verse 27 yes my dear brothers and sisters pope francis is very sure god used joseph to achieve his purpose and he is convinced that god can use as to god can use as to our beloved pope francis offers this assurance through this letter he offers us an interesting challenge through this encyclical he suggests we should ask whether we ourselves are protecting jesus and mary for they are also mysteriously entrusted to our own responsibility care and safekeeping 
Jesus entered the world in a state of great to vulnerability and Joseph had to defend and protect and care for this Jesus who is vulnerable in the hand of the humanity we are called to do the same the child Jesus is often the poor needy suffering or dying person every stranger every prisoner every informed person we come across in our life so in this lenten season we have to meet this vulnerable jesus we have to confront this reality and thus we are able to really see the real jesus who is vulnerable today the child jesus grew up and taught us as we read in matthew chapter 20 40 as you did it to one of the least of these who are members of my family you did it to me you see my dear brothers and sisters where the vulnerability of jesus is found whether we are with them if we respond positively to this change and challenges during this lenten season we are continuing joseph's mission in our life the holy father pope francis is very much convinced that being a father entails introducing children to life and reality not being overprotective but making them capable of deciding for themselves the alternative is a selfish caricature of love which imprisons constricts and makes for misery the positive alternative we look for yes my dear brothers and sisters when the physical fathers refuses to live the lives of their children for them a new and unexpected vistas open up every child is the bearer of a unique mystery that can only be brought to light with the help of your father who respects the child's freedom your father is a real father when he becomes like joseph who always knew that his child was not his own but had merely been entrusted to his care genuine fatherhood has nothing to do with possession your real father is a shadow on earth of our heavenly father's shadow that follows his own son his son yes my dear brothers and sisters we have mariology but we don't have josephology like mother mary joseph is not much praised much spoken fiat in silence for accepting god's son patris corde this patris corde is nothing but it tells very clearly that fiat in silence saint joseph accepts god's son joseph teaches us very clearly that it is possible to laugh without possessions it's a greatest lesson that god gives to us 
through Saint Joseph. We religious who are brothers and sisters have consecrated to Lord. Let's ask the basic question. Is it possible for us to love without possessions? It's nothing but selfish love. In 2016, 25th of November, when our beloved Pope Francis met 140 superior generals of the congregations, he quoted his own experience. He writes beautifully, If there is a problem, let me write to a note to St. Joseph and on a mattress of a note and sleep well. What a wonderful trust that our beloved Pope Francis had. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, as we read Patris Code Days, we have seven images of a beloved and loving father. The first image is a beloved father. The second image is a tender and loving father. The third image is an obedient father. And the fourth image is an accepting father. The fifth image is a creative and courageous father. The sixth image is a working father. Seventh image is the father in the shadows. What a beautiful reflection how a father has to be. We religious or patris or fathers or we are patron of the religious communities. We are in a small scale or in a bigger scale we are in a different types of authorities. How do we really behave and how do we apply our own authority? How do we really expose ourselves through this document and understand? Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, when Patris Cordes quotes St. Joseph as the model of father, we could see in him the merciful father and the prodigal son who is able to identify the real mercy, the real creative courage in a person. Therefore, we people who are in authority, whether we are feminine or masculine, religious, but called, God calls us to look at to understand our own way of acting in this today. Therefore, a, pers a person should have a creative courage. A person should have a gentleness and a person should have faithfulness to carry on his own responsibility. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, in the same way, when we look at Patris Kodis, we find a great element of understanding the transformation or the need of transformation in our life. Let this Lenten season help us to go deeper and deeper within ourselves so that we will be able to transform ourselves to understand our way of life and thus we could really give ourselves to the other one. I like to finish this talk with a prayer which apostolic letter on Saint Joseph Yes, my dear brothers and sisters. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you, God entrusted his only Son. 
in you mary placed her trust with you christ became man blessed joseph to us too show yourself a your father and guide us in the path of life obtain us obtain for us grace mercy and courage and defend us from every evil amen in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit thank you dear brothers and sisters god bless you all